Lambda edge are Lambda functions to override the behavior of requests and responses for CloudFront. Um, so here is a diagram of what that looks like. And so we have four possible functions we can um, override via Lambda edge. The first is the view request when CloudFront receives a request from the viewer. Origin request before CloudFront forwards a request to the origin. Origin response when CloudFront receives a response from the origin. Viewer response before CloudFront returns the response to the viewer. Support languages here is Python and Node.js. Functions are deployed at the regional edge caches. This matters because it'll understand uh, latency uh, for these things, okay? Um, let's look at some use cases. So for viewer requests, we could redirect HTTP to HTTPS, inspect cookies for user authentication, modify headers for A-B testing. For viewer response use cases, we can add security headers, set cookies for client-side tracking, customize error messages. For origin request use cases, we rewrite URLs for SEO or routing, inject headers for origin authentication, selective content serving based on user agent. For origin response use cases, we modify headers to control caching, update URLs and HTML, HTML versioning, customize error responses for origin. Uh, some of these things don't make sense. Like, I don't know if you need to re redirect HTTP to HTTPS because CloudFront can do that, but you can still use these functions to do that. Let's look at some examples here, uh, each for one. So here for viewer requests, we are uh, redirecting HTTP to HTTPS, okay? So just trying to get you a bit familiar in terms of what this looks like. So here we have the request header. We see that it is HTTP, so we tell it 301 and we change uh, that value there. Then we have adding security headers and I actually omitted one because there's just too many headers in here. But the idea is that we are adding uh, specific uh, headers here, okay? And then returning the response. Here we are modifying the origin request to serve different versions based on the user agent. This is actually is very useful. So here we are looking at our request. And then from here we get the user agent and we see if it's mobile. If it's mobile, we'll give the mobile URL. If not, it'll be the desktop. And then we have the origin response. So here we're changing a 404 to a 200, which is useful. But again, this is functionality that CloudFront can automatically do for you. The idea is if we get a 404, return a 200, give an okay, and give it a custom page and some content type there. So there you go.